Yep, it's all down to this. The Rogue Stage 2 deck versus the big boy wanting to be banned. <laughs> exactly. Looks like we're just waiting for Brandon to send the challenge. And here we go. All right. And I actually have a, the Pokemon Epic Epic Remix um, for this battle. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's get started with this grand final. Let's see the coin flip. Uh, that's a nice Charizard coin. And Brandon loves the coin flip. Let's see if Catalina chooses to go first or second. Oh, no. What? Oh yes, Catalina is choosing to go first or second, and she chose to it's go good. first. Okay, so this is good for Brandon. I think Brandon prefers to go um, second, second generally, to use the supporter. So, works for both players here. What Brandon's really, really looking for on his turn one though, is a Galarian Zigzagoon. And an energy, that's all he wants. We are going to see Catalina, going to bench that Sassian, going to Cherish Ball, grab a ADP. Going to quick ball away on Marnie, grab that Duraludon. Um, Catalina knows that um, Duraludon is going to be very big in this matchup. Going to be able to hit through those Decidueyes after an auto creation. And Dark Asset Robot is going to come down and draw up to six. So, a wish. What will it find? It will find a switch. Watch being a trapper sword to end the turn there. Yeah. Okay, so it's a top deck of a Rosa for Brandon. Not what he wants to see. He's just going to research away that whole hand. Um, there is a Galarian Zigzagoon in that new hand. Um, you can put one damage counter onto the Duraludon. Not, I don't, I'm not even sure he really wants to though. He's just going to put it onto the Archistyle Valkyrie. And then he's just going to end his turn. Okay, so, Stella Wish and Catalina's turn. Know that Catalina has the switch in hand from the Stella Wish last turn, I believe. So, it's just a metal energy, that's all. Just the metal energy to be able to pull off the whole creation this turn. There it is, so, I'm gonna see the switch come down. I believe. Yeah, there's the switch, the nice heart gold soft silver base artwork. I think it's just gonna be on creation here. Catalina very smartly saving that last bench spot. Need to save it for that more while. Otherwise Obstagoon can just run through using obstruct. But you can see that Brandon doesn't actually have any stage twos. Or basic Pokemon, sorry, in his hand. Unfortunately, he did have to get rid of two scoop up nets from the... Oh wow, we're going to see a Marnie here. Okay. So, let's get rid of that quite mediocre hand that Brandon had. And now he's got a Jirachi, but he doesn't actually have any way to draw cards because he can't get the route out of the active. I mean, he could evolve the Dark Tricks, but I do not see any important follow-up. Um, did, did you see if she had the, if she, if Brandon had the Crobat? Noah? Oh, uh, uh, Brandon is entirely made of one's button. Brandon didn't only draw Pokemon, are oh, his three copies of Jirachi. 
but it looks like he wants to grab another Galarian Zigzagoon here. He only has one Darkness Energy in the deck. He does play two, so one is in the prize cards, but he's going to headbutt Tan from here. Bench a Drake. And is he going to retreat? The yeah, right? Dark Rex and Ta. Oh dear. This is not looking great. No, not at all. Abandon here. Oh no, there's a the boss's orders. Okay. That's it's, not good. I think that's what you want to do if you're Catalina. Like, you want to definitely uh, take that threat as fast as you can. And also, because um, you know Brandon plays only two obstacles. So if you get rid of one more, you're, you're quote unquote good to go. Yeah, and especially if you're taking an extra prize guard every turn now. Um, yes. Top deck of Professor Research is hit huge though, Brandon. Um, as a Rosa, Rare Candy, Pokemon Communication, he has it all, really. In fact, as long as there's no... I'm trying to think. As long as there's no boss's orders on this next turn, I think Brandon can set up the clock. I think. Now, there is no Elder Goss in Catalina's deck. Just those three copies of Bond. She can use four to Denny. If three to Denny, one for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, if that Galarian Zigzagoon survives this turn, Brandon can scoop up net that Dark Trick, assuming that the Jirachi gets knocked out. Oh, maybe scoop up Nightmare with Dartrix this turn? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. And then Pokemon communication away the Dartrix. Okay. And it looks like he wants to grab the Obstagoon here. That's interesting. He could always Rose it. Oh, he wants to Rare Candy into Obstagoon this turn. Okay. That makes sense. But it's a risky move because now, yeah. now you are like, okay, if you have boss, you win. It is risky, but if, if boss can, regardless of whether or not um, he evolved to obscure this turn, yeah, if an it, energy came down, if a boss came down, it was going to be over because he couldn't get obstruct going in one turn because counter gains rotated. But unfortunately, on, yeah. On the other hand, it was also like risky, but. Um, like, if he knocks out the Jirachi, then you just get the Rosa and you obstruct for the win. Yeah. It's gonna be an energy attachment to the Akistar Kapalki. We haven't seen a boss yet. Manual retreat into the Jirachi must have a switching card. Although, that does now mean, because Akistar Kapalki was the only thing on the board that could one-hit KO that Galarian Obscoon, because they're a little only does 140 damage after all to creation. Okay, there, there, there is go. a boss's order. Energy metal saucer. Is there an it needs an attachment, a switching card, and an energy Oh just what? Means That's huge. Oh, but now Rosa isn't active. Okay now he needs an energy. Yeah, Brandon needs a, ma a Darkness Energy. There's only one in the deck. He has to find it. Oh, oh. no. And no scoop up net or anything like that to like, keep playing around with the Jirachi. Wow. That's really unfortunate. That, like, still? And this is now punishing him going for Obstagoon. 
Because mm -hmm. if he'd have gone for Zigzagoon last turn, he could have attached Weak Guard to the other Zigzagoon. So then he would have had a Two second options. one ready to go. Yeah. I think that's what he's gonna do right now. Like, go for the Zigzag. Uh... Yeah, he can go for the Zigzag. The only problem is he doesn't have an energy, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, I, yeah. Like, he would need to attach this turn. He just has to hope that there's no metal source. That's it. That's all. There oh, there's a metal source. Yeah, he just needs to retreat, boss order, and that's game. But. Yeah, there's a boss sort of. Well, probably gonna see the switching card. Oh, I did, didn't I? Or okay. looking for the switching card. Oh, and then that's yeah, the scoop okay. up net. So there's that switching card there, so that's scoop up net. And Catalina is gonna take this first game. Um, Brandon's setup just took a little bit too long. I just have a question. Uh, let me check this list real fast. Oh, Catalina is playing three scoop up nets and the three directions. That's a little bit of what we were talking about. Like, uh, she's playing the four three. Uh, so she had to use that like six package of the three Jirachi and the three scoop up nets. But I think it did came up handy. Like uh, it, it worked as we could see uh, in the last match. Yeah, if it hadn't have been for the uh, for the Jirachi, the boss's orders wouldn't have been found off the Stellar Witch. So... Definitely. That's nice. They have a better hand for Brandon, I would say. He's got a Galarian Zigzagoon, an energy, and a research. Mm -hmm. So that's good. For... And Brandon has got, uh, decided to go second, right? Yeah, he's gone second. Okay. That's good. Uh, so, Catalina, uh, like, I love ADP, and I honestly would love Catalina to win the whole thing, but <laughs> I just want to see how crazy uh, all social media gets if she does get the, the top of two. Oh, we all know what will happen. On the other side, I also want Brandon to win because I love this type of wally, milly, controlly deck. And this one in particular, I think that it needs a lot of um, expertise. You need luck, and you really, really need to watch it win every scenario. Because you're not just playing goons, where you just kind of try to and, and lock them out of the game. Here, you're you're trying to see like, do I go the city? Do, do I go up the goon? When do I scoop up? When when do I not? So I think that it does require a lot more experience to play that goon. And I would really like to see that um, to get the, the the crown of the perfection. Yeah. By the way, Cashman, thank you for the for the raid. If anybody wants to raid us, uh, I won't be upset. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, Professor Research is just going to come down here. Um, just have another quick ball. Has a Marnie, has a Rare Candy. Rare Candy not going to do much though, unfortunately. He's going to pitch that Weak Guard energy. Um, let's see how many Darkness energy he has at this game. Come on. Okay, he has both of his Darkness energies this game. This is a lot better. By the way, we have 46 spectators right now. And from those 46, only three are speaking. So we see Vinny Gabriel. Vinny, you're from Brazil, right? Uh, we see Mr. Cashman, Caden, and that's it. Guys, talk. This is a, a nice place we can all say, oh, oh my God, Catalina's gonna win. Oh, no, 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 Brandon's gonna win. Oh, what a good hand. I wanna see your reactions. I want you to share this beautiful moment with us. Yeah, let's get those reactions down in chat and let's hear who you're rooting for. Are you rooting for Brandon with the CGI Obstagoon or are you re rooting for Catalina with ADP Zation? Yeah, in the I stream, in... Uh, sorry, oh, go on. The, like the stream is three minutes behind and the first match is finished and they are like, oh no, uh, this is bad. <laughs> and uh, and Beruta <laughs> is saying that three directly three match is the way it's any deck. Yeah, that, that's actually... I, you have a point, a producer. Mr. Jeremy yeah. Revere. We do see the Galarian Obstagoon 
is going to come down. So, if Brandon can find a switching card and a darkness energy off the Marnie, which is quite a tall order. Oh, okay. He's going to want to go attach that Flareon Zigzagoon. He doesn't want to take any risks like he took in that game one. Oh, he does have a Rosa. And he also does have the Rare Candy Decidueye. So, he's going to be able to stall for a little bit longer because Ultimate Ray isn't going to do any damage. And if that Duraludon's prized, then all Catalina can do is slap. There's a boss's orders. Oh, I'm stressed for them. <laughs> oh, okay. a boss's orders onto the Obstagoon. That will activate Rosa, though. Yes, and she will then have the other Obstagoon. And the other, that's what I think Brandon was looking for. Why, yeah. why, why is Catalina putting the, the heart? I think Catalina was putting Broken Heart because it didn't manage to find the Duraludon to be able to ultimate right onto. Mm. The thing is though, Brandon can now just start saying... Brandon can start just announcing Obstruct. He has oh. no basis in hand, so more wild doesn't do anything. And... Boss's orders doesn't do anything because Duraludon isn't in play to be able to put energy onto. Yep. Oh, and that scoop of net's gonna be huge. Yeah, I think he has to remember that if he scoop up next up to Situai, he will have that basic in hand, meaning that it will be able to boss. Yeah, it boss. will be a target for for Mawile. Yeah, it will be a target for Mawile. So I think for now you you're fine with that Situai being in play. I think. I think you can just obstruct here rather safely. I, I think not. Uh, like, maybe it's just me, but I think it's better to have that Decidueye in hand. Because if he gets to boss order and KO the Decidueye, he's gonna be on to two prices. So then Catalina just yeah, has to wait for a right time where uh, Brandon has enough cards in hand that she feels safe that, she's gonna, that he's gonna have a basic and put it down, slap it and then just boss order into whatever uh, it's brought down. Yeah. So in, I... Uh, imp important yeah. to note that there are um, no basic Pokemon in the new hand of Brandon, um, which is exactly what he wants to see. He doesn't want any... In contrast to a lot of other decks, yeah, Brandon you don't, doesn't actually You don't want to see him. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> in more welcome. No! Mm. Bad timing. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like she precipitated that. that she lost this game. There's no way she can win this now. She, yeah. That that was super bad from her because first of all, you just played Marty, so you have a boss disorder in here. You do not need to captivate and wing this turn. You can just keep no, it in that hand. Was way chill. too early to captivate. Yeah. Him. I think that that mistake is gonna cost her the game. Yeah. She just. Um, yeah. But I, I honestly don't understand why she did. Like she had everything to just wait, chill, and then uh, use capture with wings in the in the right time. You know. But yeah, we do see Brandon steal that game too, and we're going to be moving on to game three here, the final game of the second perfection of the season. Let's see who takes home the crown. Catalina from Chile or Brandon from the US are first and second seeds going into the top eight are fighting against each other in the finals. So I'm gonna read real fast um, all the comments. It says, come on, good, I believe. Jirachi is the way to go, it seems. Yes, I honestly think that the, the little Jirachi scoop up net package is the way to go now. Uh, and more without the acrobite. Uh, can Chesario say go goons? Can Chase actually from, from Cancun and he plays goons? So I do see how he might like the goons. When I built Jirachi ADP, everyone me everyone told me it was bad. Well, apparently it's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jirachi, also another saucer target for the turn one TS. Yeah, definitely. 
it, it's a it's a everything target. Um, Royal Chief says hello, Aldo. Hello, Mr. Royal Chief. Un tipo tranquilo says hi, Kyle Carr. Hey, there you go. That's what I wanted to see. Everybody saying something, interacting. That's a good chat, guys. Uh, and Kyle Carr said, I love to Catalina, so I'm rooting for Brando. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. But anyways, I, I think everyone is rooting for Brando right now. Do we have anybody from Chile? Tenemos gente de Chile que está apoyando a Catalina? Or is everybody rooting for Brando right now? And Catman <laughs> says, I don't care who wins. I just want to see a good match. So I'm sure we're going to have a good uh, game three. Uh, I'm going to finish reading real fast. Big slap, that's pretty much GG. Yes, that's GG. Uh, and está ganado. Yes, definitely. That, that game was won. So, Noah, so, tell us what has happened here in game three. So, game three, we saw a turn one from Catalina. Um, desperately benching that Duradon, scooping it up to get more cards off the Night Asset. Uh, managed to attach to the ADP and then just went for the Intrepid Sword. Um, We've seen from Brandon a quick wall for a Galarian Zigzagoon and a poke, commu Pokemon communication for another. It's important to note that um, Brandon does have one Galarian Obscure prize, so he's just working with one, but he does have both of his Darkness energies in the deck, so it's going to be easier for him to find them. And this is, and that's the point we're up to. He's got the Professor's Research. Um, Looks like he's deliberating whether or not to play it, but he does opt to. Um, and that's a lot of energies. I'll give him that. He has to be really careful when he evolves the obstacle, though, because of the fact that he only has one. That's an energy, an energy switch. Oh. Uh oh, that can't be good. And a water energy attachment to the Duraludon? What? what? He wants to get the fast KO? But he can't. What? He must really want the KO on that Galarian Zigzagoon, but he, he's not taking an extra prize. Not, they're not taking an extra prize card. Why would they do this? Are they scared of the, the Earthly Obstruct Law? Wow. The thing it is. This H Rosa. So, I mean, do they have. Catalina doesn't even have a switching card. What? Oh no. This is terrible for Catalina. They had the option to auto creation and they chose not to. I think Brandon can just comfortably attach and pass here. If there's no Marnie, I, I think it's, I think it might already be over. If there's no Marnie, an energy spinner. Uh, it honestly baffles me that why Catalina didn't just go for the Alter Creation last turn. Yeah, like, uh, they it, had it guaranteed. But the, and and they didn't even attack, did they? Did she? No. Yeah, they didn't attack. They just left their ADP in the active for a turn in Intrepid Sorted. And they're just going to Power Beam for the knockout. No Marnie, so Rosa can go grab Galarian Obstagoon, a Darkness Energy, and then a Scoop up that. I don't know. Obstagoon, uh -huh. Scoop up that, Energy. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but I, well, I said I don't know that I don't know why Catalina did that. Like, I, I honestly don't understand. Yeah, uh, nor do I. I, I really don't understand at all. There's no bench space for more while either. So. But I mean, she's gonna get uh, that's irrelevant. Gonna get knocked out right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, obstruct is just gonna start rolling. This is looking really, really rough for Catalina. Not having an altar creation, so having to power beam that glare in Zigzagoon for just one prize. Nowhere near is doing it for two. 
looks I'm, like I, I honestly, an alter creation. Yeah. I, I'm gonna ask so. her after this to see why she did that. Because I, I honestly don't understand. If she has a good reason, I would love to know why. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit of the of everybody. Oh, that was a lot of messages. Uh, he went for the Mawal game three for Desi Goons. Gana Brandon, no hay chances contra DP. Una mano inicial. Uh, too early. Saludos a los casters. Gracias, Oscarín. Uh, it says hi to vamos Cata says Manu. Uh, Kyle says what's just messing. <laughs> I know you were just messing. It's alright. Uh, second image says I'm from Chile. Let's go Cata. And Canche yeah, says I'm waiting for Catalina. Yeah, uh, Canche says I just want to see Octagon winning. I like the way you move. Says go Catalina and gotta root for the boys back home. Brandon's gonna win. And if Desi Goon takes two giant tournaments in one week, that's insanity. Uh, well, it's very close from happening. Yeah, um, Brandon is just spamming obstruct here. Um, draw, obstruct, draw, obstruct. Um, the important thing to note, Catalina is not letting um, Brandon take a prize card, which is interesting because Brandon has to take a prize card to free up bench space for more while, and more while is the only way that Catalina is winning this game. And it has to be a super ultra multi price mobile. Uh, yeah. Because, um, why? Why is she not opening bench space? I mean, she was letting him KO the Dedene there, but he used Fion, so. I'm confused right now. So I'm there's no basic confused. Pokemon, and. Now there's a bench space. However, if Catalina benches more while this turn, it is over. Yeah. She needs to wait for a bigger hand. But the thing is, uh, that Brandon has a nine card hand. Oh, there's a quick ball. I think she's going for it. GG. Oh no. Is this gonna be it? Yes. This there is you it. Go. Oh. That's game. That that's gonna be game for Brandon here. Oh my god. Yeah, and that's that's Brandon. Yep. With no out to be able to get through the obstruct. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, please, I need you to shout out for Brandon, the new champion of this perfection number two of the season two of the Pokex Online series. I want everybody to please clap for him, put all the super uh, fun emojis. And Brandon, congratulations for being today's uh, champion, taking a hundred. Well, the assumed champion. He hasn't won the game yet, but I don't see a way Catalina wins. I mean, wins. he he has one prize left. He has one order in hand. Uh, like, I, I I think we can give him the crown. Yeah, after well, I, he, yeah, I, I think we can as well. A <laughs> he can go. He can win this turn. He can go grab the Galarian Zigzagoon. Yeah, and, and then go. just... But why are you uh, I don't think he's... No flash here. Now, w will Brandon choose to win by deck out, or will he choose to win by obstructing? Nah, he's gonna finish it in style. He's gonna obstruct, take that last prize card. And that's it. Brandon... Brandon Jones with Decidueye Obstagoon is your Perfection 2 champion. Decidueye Obstagoon pulling its weight I think that's twice this week it's won a major tournament. Come on? He, um, yeah, I think he won the Hexter, right? Yeah, I think it won Hexter on Wednesday, which is crazy. That's two tournaments that have had over 150 people with Decidueye Obstagoon taking the crown. Actually, I'm going to take the layout for a second so we can see. Uh, okay, I'm not going to take it out. Uh -huh. Uh, I was gonna take it out. No, uh, you know what I can do? I can put the stream all the way here to the top. So everybody can see um, what Brandon is sharing with us right now. That is his uh, complete deck list. Um, because the deck list that we uploaded uh, is missing three, the did one. So here you go. Everybody, you can see on stream right now uh, that the, the super awesome deck list that Brandon came up with. 
to win this perfection tournament. Mr. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon's that close. Definitely an interesting one, but it brought him the win. Got him those 200 points towards his Invitational invite. Uh, and I believe 70 packs of Darkness Ablaze to go along with it. Um, let me, I'm asking uh, Brandon if he can be on voice. Yeah, there... Uh, I want to see if we can give him a fast interview. So, uh, do you gone. think that ADP is limiting one prize deck? <laughs> I think this proves it all! ADP limiting one prize deck, but gets beaten by a one prize deck. I think, yeah, I think oh, this no. uh, brings to the conclusion ADP should not be banned. What do you think, Noah? I honestly still don't know. Um, it's very, very interesting. The ADP has been so called for a ban. Decidueye Obstagoon is a sort of walling deck that can... It's one of the very few single prize decks that has... The, along with that and the Cephalon of it can get the ball rolling. It's one of the only, they're like the only two decks that have the ability to KO ADP. But you have to consider whether or not there are any one prize decks that would actually be good without ADP being there. I mean, I, I suppose things like Ride on Mill and Excadrill Control could become more prominent. But I think that it's just. Um... Uh, hold on, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Um, we have Mr. The Plague ready to speak, but I do not see him with his mic activated. Um, so yeah, hey. I just, I honestly, uh, yes, hello, how are you? Hey, I'm Ryan Aldo. Congratulations to Brandon for uh, taking the Sigilai Goon all the way. I'm sure there are a lot of ADP who uh, are upset about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, thank you for sponsoring the event. As I was telling everybody, the Plank League um, sponsored this perfection event and also donated, donated to the prize pool of the Champions Festival. If you have no idea what the Champions Festival is, it's the Invitational of the Pokex Online Series. Um, so, tell us a little bit about the Plank League, please. So, the Plague League started in... June, I guess, and um, at first I wanted to run really high-level tournaments the way the way you, the way Hexter, the way um, Drayton is, and um, I was focusing more on Magic the Gathering. And uh, as as we went along, I realized that there is a need right now um, for more community and less maybe uh, competitive tournaments. And uh, I shifted gears, and Plague League is now trying to, um, while not replace, maybe replicate the feeling of going and hanging out at your lo local game store and being able to just talk about the hobby of playing um, playing games, whether it's Pokemon, whether it's Magic the Gathering, whether it's...